Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Jessica here, nice to see you again. Or if you're new, welcome. Welcome to the Hot Mess Express. I don't know if that is copyrighted or 10. So, sorry ahead of time if it is. Um, but I'm new here, so I don't make any money anyway. So, okay, so, oh, y'all, let me just tell y'all what my mom found at the thrift store. I know this is a boxy charm unboxing. I know it is. I'm sorry. Derailed. Look at those precious Timberlands for $2.49. I don't think anybody ever wore them. They're beautiful. $2 at the thrift store. She did great. Thanks, Mom. Alright, still, without further ado, let's get into the October Boxy Charm Box. I have been wanting to dive into this thing. It just came in the mail today. I have keep seeing it all over on YouTube. October Boxy Charm Box. I want to open it so bad. Uh, but I know I can't. But um, anyway, so we are going to hop right in. Let me find my handy dandy scissors over there. All right, we are in it. In it. Oh, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Ooh. I know I'm so dramatic, right? Y'all, let me just tell you what happened last night. Cause you know the suspense, right? With box showing box. I went to a fiend party. It was like a Bunko party. It was apparently this new game or old game. It's a parlor game, so it must be an old game because they call it a parlor game. But anyway, it was um, it was interesting. It lets you kind of get to know everybody at the table. You know, you're always switching teams, so it's good to get to know a large group of people. Um, but I went with my mom to uh, a friend's house, and they were dressed up, which I knew they were dressing up to begin with. And I was told the themes were music. So I went as Star Child from Kiss. I know. Like, really? Left field? I know. Insert picture here. I thought I did a pretty good job for my first attempt. Um, it's also linked in my Instagram account at Makeup Indie Shine um, for Instagram and Facebook, but it's on my Instagram account. Um, but yeah that we got there and the theme was actually musicals not music so my mom was britney spears she was a music video and a music icon but not a musical they had like the witch from wizard of oz they had the scarecrow from wizard of oz they had um the lost miserables they had um cats i was a rock legend but anyway, so that was it. I, I had a really good time doing the makeup, though. I didn't realize I liked to do stuff like that until I started doing it. And so I did. And, oh, I looked down at my table. My son had brought me a flower last night while I was doing my face makeup. Because I did get frustrated because it took me three times to do the white base. Because it was just not as blended and perfect as I wanted. But I guess that's what I get for getting like... I don't want to say Target's bad, but it was just makeup from Target. It wasn't, it was like $2. So, it wasn't like a good quality brand of somebody that does face makeup professionally. So, but anyway, we did the best we could. Uh, so, without further ado and listening to me ramble about how my yesterday went, let's get into BoxyCharm. Alright, so you open it up. It looks like uh, this. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the front of the thing, and it says flip over for bigger boxy charm, and it talks about the $35 box, which I have not done yet. I do know that they did give me an email about a choice I could choose something, but it was for my November box, not my October box. So we'll see if that works or how that works. I'm just not 100% sure. But another little cute thing, did y'all know this little number down here meant the versions? Like this box is version 38. So yeah, there's at least, we know there's at least 38 versions because of this number right there. Don't look at my fingernails. I know they're bad. <clears throat> I was planning on taking them off last night to do the kiss thing and they were going to be black and I was running out of time. I mean, it was a Thursday night. I just gotten off work and got home with the baby at like five. Had to get him fed. Had to get dinner going uh, for myself. And anyway, it was just, it was, it was a time. It was a time. And, um. 
I said they're going for myself. Like, baby daddy won't come in here to take care of the baby while I left. Right. I know. Go figure that. Anyhow. So, the theme is After Dark. After Dark Boxy Charm. All right. Let's jump right in. Oop. I see a legal lip. I see a legal lip already. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's not. It's a lip plumping gloss from Iconic London. Iconic London lip plumping gloss are the ultimate combo of non-sticky gloss and plumping power. The high shine formula is infused with a bio biomimetic peptide which helps to support natural collagen production and more defined and voluminous looking lips. $26 retail. Now we got to put this on. Look at that. It's got a little doe foot applicator. Alright, let's try this here. Oh my gosh. That feels really good. I'm already getting the menthol taste. Or not taste, but smell. It almost tastes like toothpaste. Like mint, like the. Tastes like. It smells like toothpaste. Oh, yeah. It's a little. It's fresh. It's very fresh. Like if you were to pop a mint in your mouth, you get a little twingle on the back of your tongue. I mean, on the tip of your tongue, of your lips. And you smell in, it reminds you of the first thing in the morning when you brush your teeth. Or right before you go to bed, you brush your teeth. Kids, brush your teeth twice a day. I promise you, you will thank me later. Okay, Dose of Colors, very big fan. Love that. That will be a staple in my go to. Just, it's a lot of toothpaste. I love the color, I love the feel. It doesn't feel sticky, it's glossy, it's smooth does transfer of course because it is gloss well most gloss some glosses don't I just, we'll get into that later I like this it's just that the menthol is a little much but it is plumping so that should tell you ahead of time anything plumping usually has some kind of menthol feel taste tingle just FYI that all right next we got a Luminati sponge reminds me of my beauty blender but does it work as good Let's see if it's as soft. It's not nearly as soft as my beauty blender. Where is it? Okay, if I shake y'all, move y'all, I'm sorry. I'm going to fix it. Oh, okay. Put it back. Okay. So this is the Illuminati. This is the beauty blender. Yes, it is love, but it is clean. doesn't have anything on it. Now, like, it's hard to push. This one is so soft. So soft and squishy. This one is like, uh, uh, uh. but I don't want to judge a book by its cover because the um, Morphe sponges, the, the rumor has it from them that they were really hard to, but I guess the more you used it, it the softer it would get. So I'm going to use this a couple times, see what happens, but so far I'm not impressed. And it's Illuminati Cosmetic Sponge. Edgeless reusable high definition cosmetic sponge applicator. It's twenty one dollars. Beauty Blender's twenty. Just saying. We'll try. We'll try. But so far already, just from what I know, you know, Beauty Blender. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. LMS Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Nourishing Prebiotic Green Mask Advanced Skin Care. You know I love me some skin care, y'all. The top seems to already be open. But the seal's not broke, so we're okay. We're okay. I was a little, a little scary. Alrighty. So, Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Get a shot of green goodness with the treatment mask that nourishes, smooths, and brightens for a softer, smoother, more radiant skin. Vegan and cruelty free. Alright, so we are going to try this. <coughs> oh, it's got avocado and broccoli seed oil. Yeah, this should be good. Because 
Apply mask twice weekly on cleansed skin. A slight tingling may occur. It's not a good sign. While the mask works its magic, remove after 10 minutes with a damp, dark cloth. I guess that's because this is going to come out green. If contact with eyes occurs, rinse slur thoroughly. May stain fabrics. Just FYI. This retails for $35. Elements. I've heard good things about Elemis, so I'm excited to try this. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go, you know, because I've not tried it. But Superfood Veggie Mask, I mean, I, I've tried charcoal masks, I have tried avocado masks, I have tried, um, what was that one? It was a walnut scrub. And FYI, don't ever do that. Don't put walnut anything on your face. That will tear your skin up. Micro tears everywhere. Don't do it. Woo! But anyway, so I'm going to try this. I'm kind of excited about that. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. There's a cold run through my house. All right, there's two items left. This is Touch and Soul. I don't have anything Touch and Soul. Glassy, pretty filter, glassy skin balm. You get 1.05 ounces or 30 grams. Look at that packaging. Y'all, like, this packaging is gorgeous. They did great on that. Let's see. Touch and Skull, Touch and Soul, Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm, an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow and lasts throughout the day. That makes me think there's oils in here because it says a balm. Could be wrong. But, um, let me just look at the ingredients before I do anything else here. You like glycol, like glycerin. All right, fourth line down. It is a ways down, but there is shea butter in here. Which, and the next one is dimethicone and all that fun stuff. It could be slippery, silky on my skin. I may not be able to use it as a primer, but I may be able to use it like at night before I go to bed as kind of like a, um, like after my moisturizer kind of thing. Oh, wow. The packaging is so different. Look how cute that is. That is neat. Love that. It looks creamy. It doesn't really even look like, you know, like you think of balm and you think of chapstick. And, and I, I don't get that, but man, is that buttery. Uh, oil? It doesn't leave a film. It seems to dry in pretty good. It has a slight like shea butter smell to it but it's not strong it is like you'd have to stick your nose up to it like I can't smell it from here but you have to stick up to it to really smell it oh that smells so good all right so this retails for $32 $32 but the packaging oh my gosh I'm excited to try this now I don't think I'll be able to use it as a primer I'm gonna try it as a primer I just don't think that with my oily skin and, and to put the shea butter on it, I think that when my oils come through and mesh with the shea butter, my makeup would, would fall off. But I do think it will help me in oil production as far as um, helping to keep my skin hydrated. Uh, and just always remember, there's a difference between hydrated skin and... Um, I'm drawing a blank. There's, there's two different kinds. It's hydrated. Oh, no. Just forget that. Just forget all that. Cut that out. <clears throat> I'm excited to try this. I do think that dry skin types are really going to enjoy this too. Um, and just remember, there's a difference between dry skin and dehydrated skin. Okay, there is a difference. Um, but this, I think this will be good mostly for all other skin types, but oily as far as a primer goes, but I think it'll be good for all skin types in general, just because you always need to be hydrated. And it does say how to use as a last step of skincare routine. It doesn't say apply before makeup, but it does say apply as the last step of the skincare routine, evenly to face to achieve a dewy, glowy skin, apply to 
or three times allows for even longer lasting wear. So it doesn't even try to say that it could be a primer. Oh, pretty filter glassy. It does, it does say hydrating priming skin balm. So that's what made me think of primer. But anyway. <coughs> eh, try. Eh, I know that was gross. I'm excited to try that too. So, so far, so good. Um, nothing in this box is less than what the box cost. That's good to know. Last but not least is something that I've been staring at since I opened this box up. And I am so excited. It is the Dose of Colors Eyeshadow Palette in Marvelous Mauve. <gasps> I love anything purple. I don't wear enough purple. I haven't worn purple in so long. I need to do that. That used to be all that I wear was purple. Oh, gosh. Packaging on this. Yes, it's, it's plastic, but it's good hard plastic. It's really pretty. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful packaging. Cruelty free, paraben free, and talc free. Okay. Oh, and it comes with a little brushy. I know a lot of people don't use these brushes, but like this is a good packer brush. I could see that being decent. This is a good smudger brush. I could see that being really decent. I could have used that earlier when I was doing this down here. But anyway, oh gosh, they are beautiful. Look at those colors. Marvelously mauve. Let's come up close. So we've got right here, starting on this side, wide wine stain, spaced out, wishy-washy, rosy, and fluffy. Let's give them a swirl. You poo, what you think? I love that a little tiny mirror comes in there too because you, you know, I like a little mirror sometimes because it lets me look at a particular area. Because when I look at a big mirror, I want to see everything, like I just I can't focus on one thing. But if I have a little one, I can focus on that one area. Anyway, so we're gonna take um wine stain on pointer, we're gonna take spaced out on middle. Mmm, they are buttery. Well, I don't know if they call that butter. Because, look, you can, like all the little designs are starting to go away. Which, I guess it's fine. Wishy-washy is going on ring finger. Rosy is going on pinky. Okay. And fluffy is going to go on the thumb. All right, let's see what we got. So, wine stain here. Whoa, that's pretty. All right, and then we have spaced out, which is on this middle finger here. Oh, I love that color. All righty, wishy washy is going to be on the ring finger. It's a little lighter. That would be a great transition shade for all of these. Woo! All right, Rosie is down here. What's that soft purple? I really like that. All right, and then Fluffy. A little highlighty shade-ish. Not highlighted, but... Well, you really can't see that on my very pale skin, but it's there. Um, I do have to say that on a swatch, they're a little patchy, but at the same time, my hand is not the same skin texture and type as my eyelids, um, so I don't really go by that a lot, but sometimes I do like to see like how they kind of come across on different areas because, you know, sometimes you want to put them elsewhere. Um, they seem a little bit like they're... They're coming, not coming apart, but they have a little bit of fallout, a little extra fallout. Um, but I do believe that this could be a really great palette. I'm going to play with it, and um, you might see it in an upcoming video soon. Also, stay tuned because I did order me the Jeffree Star Mystery Box. And depending on how wild and crazy this box is, I may be doing a giveaway of the Jeffree Star Box. 
if you weren't able to get it because there are only some exclusive there are some exclusive items in it only for this launch so just saying stay tuned for that but uh thank you for hanging out with me during this uh 20 minute boxy charm unboxing and random life events this week and i'm not excited about this but anyway so this was boxy charm october after dark version 38 that's what we got so bye guys